Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a pumpkin sort of fall inspired makeup tutorial since fall is officially here, although it is still scorching hot in LA. But nonetheless, I feel like this is a good transitional makeup look. The colors are beautiful for both summer and fall. Love warmer tones. If you know me, you know I love my pumpkin shades. So um, I'm gonna be using the new guava shade too on my lips, my cheeks, so you'll see. But yes, I'm super excited for this fall look. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown primer. I have not used this in a minute, but my skin is feeling extra dry. So I really, really need this. I really like it. It doesn't break me out, so. Whenever I need extra hydration, I put this all over. I did gua sha today too, so I feel a little bit less puffy. I'm gonna use this Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint because again, I just need all the hydration today and I'm just gonna apply this like a moisturizer all over my skin. Speaking of being puffy, I have been feeling so kind of bloated and puffy and I honestly think it's from gluten because every time I have pasta, I feel so bloated, like right after, especially if there's any protein in it. And yesterday I made um, shrimp scampi. It was so good. But this morning I was like, oh my God, I feel so bloated. So I washed my face and it actually helped a lot. So that was nice. For my concealer, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy. I love this stuff still. After years of using it, I'm gonna use the Persona Dual Ended Brush to buff this in. I'm just using the conceal side. I'm actually filming in my office. I got a new plant, which I love. Her name is Mochi. Anyone else uh, name their plants? Cause we do and it's so cute. Whenever they don't do well, I like talk to them. Sounds a little crazy to some people, but I'm like plants are life. Her name is Mochi and she is so cute. I'm obsessed with her. I also have some peppermint tea. On to the fun stuff. We just launched two new shades of Dream Stick, so I'm gonna use both of them. This one's called Mojave. Normally I'm more of a dune and you can see the difference, but I just wanna show you what this looks like on the skin. It's really pretty as a contour on me, like a subtle contour, but if you have fair to light skin, then this is gonna look more like a bronzer on you, so it's gonna look a lot warmer. These Dream Sticks won the Bustle Award for best multitasking products, which was so cool. So easy to blend. Oh yeah, this is so pretty on me. Especially in the fall and winter, I'm not gonna be as tanned. We just went to um, Turks and Caicos, so I feel like I'm a little bit more tanned than usual. I'm also gonna do just a little bit of Dune, just on top, because I just love how this really warms up my skin. This is another new shade. I'm so in love with this shade. This is definitely my favorite shade we've ever launched. So I'm gonna apply, it's called Guava, by the way. Um, so I'm gonna apply this on the apples of my cheeks and kind of bring it up a little bit. I am going for like a fall look, like I said, so I do want this to be just a little bit more kind of pumpkin guava-like. Desert coral is, is how we're describing this, so it's giving me that vibe. Uh, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm using the base side of it and I'm just gonna blend it. Whenever I have my base on, like a skin tint or a foundation, I don't rub the product, I just gently press like that. If you start to rub it back and forth, you are gonna move some product. Of all of the shades that we've launched, this is my favorite. For sure. I'm gonna use almond lip liner because this has been my go-to combination. I'm just gonna overdraw my lips and then I'm kind of bringing that up a bit. I always like to just slightly blend the bottom on the edges. Whenever we have photo shoots, I always say no powder because I know photographers love powder, but I'm like, no, we gotta show how dewy and glowy this product is. But Today, it's way too hot. So, gonna powder a little bit using my La Mer powder, translucent powder. Because I'm going out tonight, I am gonna do a little more to my brows. I'm gonna apply this Kosas pencil and just kind of fill in the sparse areas, but also make my brows a little bit thicker than they are, especially on the top. And I always extend it a little bit, just like that. Brush, brush, brush. I'm gonna set everything with the Persona Swipe Up in Warm Brown. I use this every single day, every single day. If I could recommend one product from our collection, well, that would be hard, but it would be between this and Dream Sticks because I, I use both of them every day. I feel just incomplete without one of them. 
it's nice because it also fills it in. So if you miss any areas, like right there, there's like a little gap. I'll just boop, swipe it. And it just feels so full and good. I love it. I'm going to use the Identity Palette. I recently uploaded a video on Instagram and, and it was about guava. It was mainly about guava, but everyone was like, what do you have on your eyes? And I had literally three colors from this palette. So I was like, maybe that's what I need to do today. So I'm mixing Maverick and Charming together. And I'm just going to apply this kind of all over my eyelids, but make sure that you know, I take it up to my crease. I probably should have set my eyes, but that's okay. This is the Persona Blend and Apply Brush, and I'm using the blend side to apply. You can use the blend side to apply because we kind of want to cover a lot of that area. I'm basically shading my eye at this point. These brushes are so soft. I use a little bit of Goddess, and I'm just going to apply that mainly on the center, but again, kind of layering those colors together and actually i'm going to switch to the apply side like i need to put a little more on there just in the center so i'm going to use goddess and charming together and i'm just going to lightly smoke this out i'm using the apply side this time when i get to the very end i'm just bringing it out a little bit i've been using this eyeliner for <laughs> A while now and I I'm just I'm just gonna use it now it is not out yet it's my lab sample so it's not even in our packaging but it comes out oops it comes out in oh, December maybe January I think December it's just a very beautiful chocolatey brown just use any chocolatey brown eyeliner I'm just using a brush to blend it what else is new I always do that this is the line and define brush from the eye collection oh my gosh this really elongated the eye once i put the mascara this won't feel as long curled my lashes i'm just putting on a little bit of mascara i also stopped applying mascara on my bottom lashes for some reason i think if i can do like a half up situation with my hair i think i'm gonna go with these bottega smaller silver earrings they're so cute i know they're fashion jewelry and I don't normally like to spend too much on fashion jewelry, but these I fell in love with. And I guess it is silver from what I remember. That is the finished look. I'm either going to keep my hair up like this or have it down. I kind of crimped it a little bit, which I don't know if I totally love. I was suckered to buy one of those um, crimping hair tools on TikTok shop, which has gotten me so many times. So I used that. It's like the two barrel crimping tool this is the final look i hope you enjoyed it it's just very effortless easy to throw on for a night out i decided to throw on a little bit of audacious because i feel like it'll tie in pumpkin-esque look just on the crease it really does warm it up gosh this i forget how beautiful this is i love this shade on the eyes that is the finished look again i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair either like this or kind of half up let me know which one is your favorite thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time